Ugh, glorious morning this morning, huh? Get a bit of a reprieve, weather-wise. It's Monday morning, and originally it looked like our next chance of rain was going to be Thursday. But now it's looking like Friday, and hopefully this will keep happening, and we'll keep getting an extra day here and an extra day there of dry weather added on. Because I can use it. I'm working on the roof. And I'm working on the work. <laughs> Full time. Oh. <laughs> Where's that hook? Oh.
<laughs> nice. <coughs> Hooked that one good. All right, um, and I'm going to go ahead and clean this all up. Cast a couple of more times, see what else I can get tonight. You know, awesome, awesome. for a beautiful filet right there. Looking awesome. Oh, I need to bring my bags down here. I'll rinse them before I'm done. Got myself a nice little sockeye. Look at this. Look at this, right? So this is from the water to my plate in like an hour. It's about as fresh as it gets. Look at this. Oh, that's pretty stuff. My fillet skills are terrible. My fishing line is a mess. I need to go to town tomorrow and pick up uh, a new spool of line. Uh, I went with some braided line this year and I'm never going to use braided line again. Not for, not for this. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and prep all this up and cook myself some salmon for dinner with a little Caesar salad. Olive oil, butter, so all I've got on this is a little garlic, a little basil, a little oregano, throw a little bit of black pepper on there as well, come on, there we go, and a little bit of sea salt flakes that I had here. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be delicious. And then I'm going to be eating quite a bit more salmon over the next while. So we'll go ahead and we'll bag this up and foil it up. Don't worry about vacuum packing this stuff. This is probably salmon every night for a week or so. All right. See what we got here.
exit the valve. Oh, that's some pretty fish right there. That is some pretty fish. Leave the top off and let the thing burn off. All right, so this recipe I actually got off the internet because um, it's been a couple of years since I've smoked fish of any kind. Uh, and it's a dry rub recipe. And Susan came down, we're gonna go fishing again today, but we're gonna get this started. If I can see where I put that. Let's see here. I already, I know what it is, but I always like to read it again. I always like to double check. My files, where's my downloads? Downloads, candied salmon recipe. Oh, really? Oh, well, you know what? I'll do it this way then, because I sent it to myself as well. Always great to have a backup. <laughs> Make salmon candy. That's what we're going to do here. Oh. Don't and get... some halibut candy. And ha Yeah, so Todd went halibut fishing and uh, stopped by two nights ago and dropped me up some halibut too. So I'm going to do the same thing with the halibut. So this is, like I said, a dry brine, and it's only got to last, it's only got to sit in the dry brine for two hours before I can smoke it. And it's a pound of kosher salt to a pound of brown sugar. So I've got my there scale. Yeah, you just hit the zero here. Okay. So I've got my scale out here right now, and we'll go ahead and, I don't know how much salt I have, but I brought out the backup one, which I know is over a pound. Salt is pretty heavy. Whoop, went a little bit heavy. All right, we'll get some of that out of there. Perfect. All right, I got that. And then I got... And normally I would do dark brown sugar, but, you know, it's that time of year where everything's sold out up here, so... Everybody else is. Everybody else is using dark brown, so I'm going to use light brown sugar. Zero that out. Good. Get another pound of this in there. This is super, super simple. So it's just a pound to a pound, and then mix it up. This is for here? Or... Oh, that's for the house, because I was out of mustard. <laughs> the ultimate condiment, because you don't have to keep it refrigerated. <laughs> right, and it's just blending these two together, and then doing a fine layer of this on the bottom. I'm probably going to need double this at least. So simple. And what the sugar and the salt do is draw the moisture out of the fish. And the salt itself is a natural preservative. So now we've got some fish and we're gonna have to cut some fillets, but I've got some of those, if you wanna reach into that bag and grab some of those other fillets that are in there. This is the ones that Susan and I caught last weekend. Then we'll cut these open. Do you want me to, woo, that's it. Yeah. Wild board. <laughs> Do you want me to go get the um, cutting board? Yeah, grab one of the cutting boards from the cabin. Right. It's a pretty simple process. Here's a right, I'm going to take it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the color on that. That's Ooh. so gorgeous. And I'm just laying it down, meat side down, skin side up. And there's no water involved in this at all. It's all. Um, just off the dry brine. Did it say whether it's okay if they touch or did it? it well, it, it didn't say, all it said was if I'm going to do a second layer on this recipe, don't do the, uh, don't let them touch. So okay. you want to make sure that you're going to do, um, if you're going to do a second layer, you want to make sure that you're going to put enough sugar on top of it so that it doesn't touch the fish below it. And this is pretty cool because it, like I said, it only takes like two hours to do its thing here. Uh, how much more do I There's have? I can't really fit that in there, so let's do this. I'm going to mix some more of this up and I'll do a double batch the next time. Okay. Don't you, don't you want to like open the refrigerator and the whole bit? <laughs> Oh, with your cell phone? It's been two hours. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a package of what on? we just did and see 
what it looks like. But we went down to the river to go fish and caught two more. I left our stuff down there though because I think Susan's going back down to fish while I play with this guy. Okay. So if you look, you can see all the moisture starting to. Oh my gosh, yeah. And this is the one with the halibut in it. So I'm gonna leave these actually just sitting here on the counter with the lid on them on the table for like the next half an hour. And then I'll get to the next process, which is rinsing it all off and uh, leaving it out to air dry so that the pemmican can form on the outside, the pemmican, whatever it is, can form on the outside so that it'll hold the smoke. So I'm just basically gonna rinse these off, let all that crap water drip down into there and then lay them on the screen so that they can air dry. A lot of people ask or comment all the time on the videos and say, man, how did you learn how to do all this stuff? And simply it's just because I do it. I didn't learn. I mean, you don't learn unless you try, right? So this fish is quite a bit more firm than it was. Quite a bit. My only key to anything is, you know, you want to learn how to do something, then just try to do it. It's so much more firm. Susan headed back down to the river to do some fishing because there's really, this is kind of a one-person job. It's not really necessary for two people to do it. And I'm doing this into a bucket because I'm going to take it back and haul it into the woods and throw it away. Because uh, I don't want, uh, I don't want to pour this out around the cabin because there's a lot of sugar, sugar and salt in it, right? I don't want to attract any bears. We have black and grizzly bears out here. Brown bears, we call them. All I'm doing is rinsing the visible sugar and salt off of the fish. So I'm not really washing it, I'm just rinsing it. Tasty pieces, I don't know if those are gonna make it across the smoker. And these are the grates for the smoker. So basically, uh, when the pentacle's formed on here, I'm literally going to lift it up, put it into the smoker once I get the smoker fired up. Oh yeah, nice. So my plan is uh, to take the coals, pour them in there. I'm gonna let the temperature come up just a little bit in here so I can get a feel for how my temperature adjustments are. And then I'll throw the hickory on there and let it start building up smoke. Uh, and then I'll just grab those trays and slide them right in. So I've got a decent bed of coals here.
Mm -hmm. We'll see how long it takes to come up. So I've got vents on the side here, plus I've got the vent over here on the top. My temperature gauge is already coming up pretty darn quick. Holy smokes. That is fast. That is really fast. Did not expect that to happen so quickly. We'll shut the vent down. I can control it from here too, I'm sure. Well, I'm going to get that hickory on there and then I'm going to get the smoke started and then I'm going to throw the fish in. I love the smell of hickory. I really love the smell of this. And this wood burns hotter than charcoal, so I'm putting quite a bit in there. I don't know how much to use. I got a box in there. This up 49th Street Nitro McCarthy Stout uh, in Alaska. <laughs> barbecue or do anything with the grill without having a libation while I do so. And I kind of got to babysit this because I don't know what it's going to do. Give it a taste, shall we? Mm. Oh my god. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> it's like salmon bacon. Oh god, that's so delicious. Ah, don't you fall into there. This is going to be incredible. Hmm. All right, that's going to wrap up this week. I need to get these inside and cooling, uh, and then I'll package them up. They are beautiful. I'm going to pick up some cream cheese at work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so good. 
so good. There we go. Pick up some cream cheese at work tomorrow and then uh, I can have myself a little crazy yummy dinner tomorrow night. Of smoked salmon. Cream cheese. That sounds good, doesn't it? As always, thank you for watching. I'm Sean in Alaska. I hope you guys have a great week. And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. We'll get back to building here this next week. Yum!